Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're looking at the Bitcoin breakout, which is leading to an altcoin bleed. And of course, Elon Musk at it again. So stick around for the crypto news at the end. We're going to update all of the Bitcoin charts uh, initially and then look at our Bitcoin plan as well. So remember to like the video up, subscribe to the channel, then hit the bell notification icon so you can be updated with this content as it comes out. Follow me on Instagram for daily crypto updates of the trading and of course, Instagram for daily Q&As. All right, let's dive in. Starting with the crypto markets, Bitcoin, 731 billion, ETH, 290 billion. Our other favorite here, Cardano, just short of 50 billion. Now we're at 1.62 trillion still above our 50% zone, so that is looking reasonably safe at the moment. BTC dominance, like we're going to cover today, is increasing. So remember the premise here is that as Bitcoin dominance increases, altcoins decrease their BTC value, that is, not their dollar value. If you are not taking that into consideration with your investing, I would suggest at least having a look at that because the whole idea here is to reduce your risk and still increase your return. So that's why we look at the Bitcoin dominance compared to the altcoins. I know many people are just looking at the dollar pair with their altcoins. So the fear and greed index is at 28 today. Yesterday was 23 and last week was 15. So if you remember from our plan that we're testing, we're buying when it's at 15 and below. There are filters that are going to be needed. There are exit strategies which will be needed. This is the uh, plan as recorded since uh, a few days ago. And all we're looking at here is to input the data on the day that we are buying, the price that we're buying at, and then the amount. So you can adjust this any which way. If you just have 10 bucks to put in every time Bitcoin drops to that level, which is the buy signal, then that's what you do. But on here, we're looking at where our current value lies and we're at $39,000 for a Bitcoin, which means we're now up 10% from these levels. So if you've ever wondered, when do I buy? How do I buy? What am I looking at to buy? Start with something and then build on it. And I'm just starting with something here to be built on at a later stage and with the Investor Accelerator members. So if you want to know more about that, there's a link to it down below in the description box. So really, if we've just followed this plan so far, we're sitting in a 10% profit with an average price of 35400 So if you've always wanted to buy the exact low of Bitcoin, forget about it. Then we're just looking here to get ourselves into the market and not be so emotional about our purchases. So currently our average price is at 35400 which means we're up about 10% on our Bitcoin so far. I'm not saying that that is the exact low. We could go lower, we could go into the 20s. And if we do, I'm sure that the uh, extreme fear will show up again on our fear and greed index, which means there's another buy opportunity. Moving to Bitcoin dominance, we are on the breakout. Remember, we've been following this since January, double top, hit our bull reversal. So hit our reversal target of 200% of the double top, which was in this zone here of 40, 41%. I think 42 was where the 200% was. We've bounced from that, expected, as expected, it is kind of simple that that was to be expected. You had to have some sort of relief rally, some sort of bounce after falling so far for so long. Like that doesn't really take a genius to see that. We're just trying to find areas which we could expect to turn. And that's what GAN theory does. It helps us find those areas. And currently we're looking at another bounce in this low, which is a higher low. And we've just seen a higher high form. And this is a very clean first high swing bottom, not your traditional TA looking at support and resistance zones, which are also fantastic. But this is again, first higher swing bottom. We have, uh, we're yet to break the 50%. So that's what we're, our next target is at 46%. We're getting very close. I think we'll get there. And the next stages I'm looking at are anywhere from this high above. So I've said in the past around 46, which is a 50% level, 47, 48, 49, 50. So I really want to see 100% of this range play out, which is about 50.5% of the dominance. That basically means that we would expect alts to bleed against their BTC value. And so if you have a whole lot of alts on your watch list, you'll notice if you change the percentages, you'll see that they are uh, dropping against their Bitcoin value. They might not be dropping against their USD value because when you look at the gainers, USD is up, but in their Bitcoin overall, they are down. So that's what we're following here, which is why I was talking about on Saturday's video, where I'm not buying altcoins just yet. Bitcoin was the play. 
that's the crypto that I want to be buying at these lows because that reduces my risk and I still get that upside should the market begin to move. And I, my theory is Bitcoin will move first, which is why I'm getting into Bitcoin first. Then I can uh, transfer, I can trade out of Bitcoin into some of the alts once that time comes. And I don't think we're there just yet. We might be another few weeks, few months away from that at this point. Bitcoin, our little trade here that we were looking at on Twitter happened before the Elon Musk tweet. This is just simple swing trading analysis here of GAN style swings. This is just a one day swing. It's not a hundred percent technique. It's just there to keep you on the right side in case the trade goes against you. So this was a few days ago now, and this was prior to that as well. So we're just looking at it and looking for our hundred percent target, which is around 42 K. Of course, there's a lot of overhead resistance at this point. We are really trying to push past all of these highs. We have a $40,000 high, we have a $41,000 high, and then we also have the 42K, which lines up with another small target of ours in this swing. So there's a lot of overhead resistance. So it's gonna be uh, a very hard ask, but this is probably one of the best cases I've seen so far for Bitcoin to be able to reach that point. If you're not following Twitter, go follow us over there. We are looking at Bitcoin news now. Uh, Bitcoin rises after Elon Musk says Tesla will accept Bitcoin again once miners use 50% clean energy. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. The point is from the chart, we were looking at this setup. We had the uh, El Salvador news on this day on the 9th. Then we had a pullback. Then we were watching this for a little swing trade out. And now we've seen that break. Basically here, you want to be covering your positions. You have stops underneath the swings. You have uh, entries on the breakout. You don't. You just don't buy for the sake of buying because this can keep dropping, 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 and then you want to get the breakout. And there's also plenty of other breakout opportunities uh, further ahead. But we've just seen Elon Musk tweet again. And this is from the horse's mouth, as I posted on Twitter. When there's confirmation of reasonable 50% clean energy usage by miners with positive future trend, Tesla will resume allowing... Bitcoin transactions. China uh, banning Bitcoin mining. Just here on the article, it's they're saying that it wasn't really uh, a surprise to anyone. Sichuan has been uh, largely left alone, so no immediate plans to ban mining has been announced, likely due to excessive hydroelectric power produced during the summer. So we're now in summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, local governments collect a hefty tax when the miners offload the power. So it just looks like the miners have to pick up their lives, pick up whatever it is they're doing in their other provinces of China and then move their mining equipment to Sichuan. And that's only if the government doesn't then shut them down afterwards. So then they'll have to move again. But currently, this is the situation of uh, all of the mining. Bitcoin taproot has gone through. So the upgrade locked over the weekend. We covered this a few days ago. Just waiting for that to uh, the news to come out that the upgrade for Bitcoin has happened and it has. So it introduces new protocols to bring privacy, enable scaling, multi-sig, so multi-signature wallets and security. So Bitcoin Taproot upgrade was locked on Saturday after 90% mandate was reached. This is the greatest upgrade in four years and is set to be enacted in November. Uh, ideally, well, what we're seeing here is a lot of good news coming out. Price is sort of moving a little bit. We're not expecting this to be the beginning of a, an entire new bull market just yet. I think we're still early days. The point here is we're seeing news and it's not really having that much of an impact on the markets. Another bit of news, inflation. Bitcoin poised for a bullish run as the US inflation surges to highest level since 2008. Imagine this just four months ago, looking at the height of the bull market through February this would really be setting off that market. Right now, we don't really see too much in the way of anything really to be that excited about. From uh, two days ago, the low, we're currently up 13%, which is pretty good. But remember, we are at lower levels now. We're in the $30,000 again. And it looks like we are starting to do some sort of basing out, but it's yet to be confirmed if this is accumulation or if it is redistribution after the highs. So it can find some support. And remember, again, 50% levels. It's just holding that 50% very, very well. If it breaks through 50%, that's not a good sign. And yes, we would expect it to come back and test these next lows at 28. And then there's a lot of room between there and $20,000. So 
It's yet to be seen if this is 100% accumulation. So far, it looks okay. We had some increased volume at these lows on the push out. Now we are wanting to see more volume as these highs are potentially taken out. That's the next sign. We want to see some volume up here. And uh, it, look, it doesn't mean that we won't come back and test some of these levels that are in the 30s again. Onto some of the big good news. Again, Canada Bitcoin ETF adds to its holdings despite steep market correction. The purpose Bitcoin ETF has been reaccumulating Bitcoin. They have uh, put in their ETF, they've added 284.5 BTC, which is approximately $10.5 million at around, you know, average of about 35-ish K. So 10.5 million, not small, it's not huge, I guess, but at least that's a start. And we've got uh, one of the ETFs in increasing their position of Bitcoin. So they've now accumulated 19,692 Bitcoin. JP Morgan added again, they are saying that El Salvador's Bitcoin move has no economic benefits. It's difficult to see any tangible economic benefits associated with adopting Bitcoin as a second form of legal tender, and it may imperil negotiations with the International Monetary Fund. We'll continue our consultations with the authorities. So it looks like they're just starting to move their way into what's going on in El Salvador. All that stuff happened very quickly. Let's see what happens moving forward from here. You know, it's just bringing uncertainty back into the market not FUD, just trying to bring a little bit of uncertainty to maybe pick up some, some Bitcoin at cheaper prices. We'll obviously have to wait and see because the chart is showing that we are moving up in the short term. Short term hours to days, not necessarily weeks or months. Weeks to months, I still think we have some time at these lower levels. 50% is holding up very nicely. Remember, that's what we are tracking. Remember, we are tracking it on Twitter as well. So follow me over on Twitter if you aren't already. I love this comment here. I reckon Elon sees your tweets, then makes his own, hoping to take credit for the price prediction. Just a little uh, ego inflation there. Thank you very much. Follow me on Instagram for daily Q and A's. Lot of investing and personal development questions coming out over there. So if you're not already, join Instagram. The link is down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. Join us on the Investor Accelerator. Plenty of investing on a weekly basis for you guys as well, and over six hours of course content. And if you're not ready for that, there is the free newsletter, which comes out once every two weeks. Just drop your email address and name using the link down below and you'll be subscribed to the list. Thanks once again for joining me on this Bitcoin update. Looking at those altcoins, they have bled out a little bit as Bitcoin moves its way up. I, I suggest, I, I expect, suggest, I expect Bitcoin as it moves up, if it breaks those next levels, I can see here 40, 42K, then it's probably going to put more pressure on alts to continue to bleed against their Bitcoin value, not necessarily their dollar value. And holding Bitcoin is less risky, in my opinion, than these altcoins at this stage of the current market. Remember, all the places you can find me in the description down below. I'll catch you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.